We give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakai Kudash, double honors to the apostles that rule well. So I to the brothers that's pushing this truth and sincerity. The key word, what? And sincerity. Right? Uh, this is Brother Bakar coming with you with another video. All right, stay in front. Stay, stay in firm, my brothers. Stay in firm, Akim. Stay in firm. We almost there. All right, so I got a plethora of scriptures that I'd like to bring out. Okay, I'm not going to try to prolong this this video. I'm just going to bring it, okay? Uh, this is uh, John 6, 27. Uh, it said, do not work. This is the NIV version. Do not work for the food that spoils, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For or him... Yahweh, the Father, has placed his seal of a, approval, right? King James Version. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endure unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you for him that uh, has Yahweh, the Father, seal, right? Yeah, so well, we, why are we enduring in, for the food that perish or the food that spoils, right? Or material things. We have to uh, 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 work for their internal life. The scripture also said, don't focus on what you can see, but focus on what the unseen, because what you see is temporal. You know what I'm saying? So when we out there laboring, when we out there laboring, we laboring uh, to save souls, right? Uh, we also labor, we also building a spiritual bank account, right? We might not have nothing on the side, but in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have everything that we need, man. More than you could ask for. Okay. Um, and this is the labor of love right here. This is the labor of love. Do not lose your first love. All right. Your brothers keep enduring because we really at the end of this thing, right? This is Ephesians uh, 430. Uh, King James, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. We are sealed unto the day of redemption, man. All right? Um, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for to be redeemed from the hands of our enemy because your brothers and sisters know the scriptures in Luke uh, 171, right? That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And we all know that these other nations hate us. They can't stand us. You know, they are very dis uh, despicable. All right, they are very despicable. And all these nations had their hands, all right? All that, all of them had their hands and they forward the affliction on Yasharala, man. They forward the affliction on Yasharala, man. And these devils got to pay, you know? And that's why we out there shaking our hands to these other nations. We waking up the nation of Israel, right, to the lost sheep of Israel. But we also shaking our hands at these other nations. And we telling them and giving them their judgment according to the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. Right? So, brothers, hang in there, man. We at the end. And big up to uh, Trinidad camp. Big up to the Guyanese. You know, I have a, a special bond with those brothers because that's where I started my ministry. Where the family, that's where we started our ministry, right? And and, and it was a uh, <laughs> a roller coaster experience, man. But I had a we had a lot of life and good times out there in Trinidad, man. And when we went to war in Trinidad, man, we went to war. <laughs> All right. Uh, now seal, right? It said and. It said, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, this is the NIV, with whom you you were sealed for the day of redemption. All right, so when you go to seal, right, that's G4973. Let's look that up. Let's see what that is. Strong's G4973, Sfragis. Sfragis. Sfragis, right? Fragis, right? Seal. 
the seal placed upon books, a signet ring. See, an inscription of impression made by a seal. The name of Yahweh, Mashiach stamped upon their foreheads. Right? D, that by uh, which anything is confirmed, proved, authentic authenticated, authenticated as by a seal, a token or proof. But I want to stress I, a, the um, of the name of Yahweh, Mashiach stamped upon their foreheads. Right? So let's bring out two scriptures. Right? Let's go to Revelation 9, verse 4. See what they have to say, right? Revelation 9, verse 4. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of, of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only, but only those men which have not the seal of Yahweh in their foreheads. Right? All right, and read that again. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal uh, of Yahweh in their forehead. So that would be considered two thirds, man. The most I don't give a damn about these two thirds, man. These two third niggas are traitors and they got to go, right? These wacky tacky Christians. These nigga bees out here shaking and twerking their ass, you know, uh, that have numerous and pleth a plethora of body counts, man. These nigga bitches got to go, man. And these flaming uh, fairies that's among our people, these LGBT community, oh, uh, they got to go, man. The most high got great death. And, and death is happening. And death is happening upon the land, upon America, man. The murder rate is high. Right? It's really high. You know? And they got the audacity to say Black Lives Matter when black people was killing one another. Right? Black people was killing one another. Hey, but that goes back to the curses that's put upon us in Deuteronomy 28. It said brothers is going to be evil towards his brother. So we understand these things. And to Wadi Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai for giving us the understanding of this word. Because if we didn't have this word, man, Hell, we don't know where the hell we, we would be right now. A lot of us probably be six feet deep. A lot of us probably be uh, selling drugs, trying to be pimps, right? We don't know where the hell we would be right now, man. But to water your how B'Shem Yahushai, that he plucked us out. You know, he chose us, man. He chose us to be uh, 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 his army, right? He chose us to be one of his soldiers, man. And that's a great and honorable thing, man. You couldn't ask for anything else. Yo, fuck the Marines, the Coast Guard, uh, the Army, the Navy. Fuck all of them. And from the research I had did, that the recruitment of United States military is the lowest since 1973. <laughs> you know, they got, ain't nobody want to join uh, uh, the military. Nobody. None of these kids want to join the military. Right? Now, there's some kids that want to join the military, but guess what? They didn't hit the weight requirement because these motherfuckers want to eat McDonald's and Burger King's, Checkers, uh, KFC, Church's, Popeye Chickens, Pizza Hut, Domino's, right? God knows what they put in their body, you know? They unhealthy. They fat as fuck. That's why they can't meet the requirements, right? The United States military is the lowest, right, since 1973, right? They can't recruit. They cannot recruit because these youngsters don't want to be a part of the United, States, the United States military. Some of them see what's going on. They know in a spirit, war is around the corner, man. War is around the corner, right? World War Three. that's what we waited on, man. The, the MOTB is already here, right? So let me hit you with a nugget scripture because this is a twofold scripture right here. This is Job 9, verse 7, which commanded the sun, and it and it rises not, and seal up the stars, right? So the stars is literally the stars, and also the stars is also the brothers, the brothers of Yahweh Shai. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is uh, Job 9, verse 7. So the stars, so we go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter, right? Let's go to the blue letter. Let's see what it say. 
Strong's H3556, Kochav, Kochav. Okay, so let's see what that says. All right, Star, Messiah Brothers, right? Of Messiah Brothers, youth. Uh, let's, let's look this up. Hold on, let me go backwards. Right? Per, uh, Progeny, right? Uh, person for vacation, God. Uh, let me see. Let's see what this word is. All right, let's look that up. Omniscience. Omniscience, right? Omniscience. That means the state of knowing everything, right? That's what that means. The state of knowing everything. Didn't the scripture said the Most High gave us an unction to know all things, right? Omniscience. Beautiful, beautiful. State of knowing everything, right? Let's look this word up. Let's look this word up. All right. Let's look this up. Personification. Personification, right? The, uh, the attribution of a personal nature, a human characteristic, something non-human, or a uh, representation of an abstract quality in human form, right? So what uh, attributions we got? The attributions we got is from Yahweh B'Shem Yasha, the Most High gave us his knowledge, right? Uh, we are quality humans, right? We have this understanding of the word of Yahweh B'Shem Yasha. Right, because the Most High set up apostles. Right, the Most High set up apostles, started with them. Right, they went in the highways and byways. Right, and brothers started coming in slowly but surely. Right, so they gave us understanding of these dark sayings, these dark parables. Right, we learned it from our apostles through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha. And guess what? We started imitating them. Right, we started being followers of them. Didn't Paul say, "Be followers me as I am of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha"? Right. So, and that's a righteous act, going on highways and byways and waking up our people to, because they're oblivious of what's going on. They don't even know their true identity. They don't know who the hell they are. So you can't take this truth and hide it in a napkin and put it under a bushel or under your bed. You go out there and teach. And labor, right? Okay, so let's look up this word right here. Let's look up this word right here. Let's look up this word. Okay. Progeny. Progeny, right? Watch this. A descendant or a descendant of a person, animal, or a plant offspring, right? Because we are the descendant of what? Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And also, progeny means progeny of celebrities we are progenies of celebrities right then the most let's go let's go straight to that scripture come on man zephaniah 3 verse 19 behold at that time i will undo all that afflicted thee and i will save her that hothes and gather her that was driven out and I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Didn't the Most High say he was going to bring us a praise and fame? Right? That's what the word progeny means right here. Look, that's what it means. Progeny, right? All right, here we go. Progeny, right? It's a descendant or the descendants of a person, animal or plant or offspring, progeny of celebrities. And who's the main celebrities, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And you can't forget the main celebrity, Yahweh B'Shem, Yahweh Shai, right? But the most I say, he was going to bring us fame in the land, man, right? All right, beautiful. We're going to keep moving on. All right, let's go to Matthew. Matthew 6, 19 and 20. Do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth where moth and rust destroyeth. And with thieves break in and steal. You know, I got a couple of cousins. Yeah, I'm about to get a couple of house. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get a multifamily house. Man. Then the Lord said, do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth with moss and rust destroyed. And with thieves break in and steal. Yeah, I'm going to get into Bitcoin. I'm going to get into stocks. What happened when that crash? You're going to lose all that. Right, 20, but lay up for yourself treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroyeth 
and where thieves do not break and, and steal. Yeah, got a couple of cousins. They got Mercedes, they got Lexus, they got these top cars, Cadillac, uh, Escalade, right? But the most I said, don't focus on that. Focus on the, uh, um, I said, do not lay up uh, uh, yourself treasure on earth and moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, right? But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven. Lay, lay, but lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, man. Then as I said earlier, focus uh, that we are building a, a spiritual bank account. Don't focus on what you can see, but focus on the unseen. Because what you can see is, is only temporary, man. It's only temporary. Come on now. All right, so let's go to the next scriptures. This is John 14, uh, 4, verse 14, King James. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him <coughs> shall, <coughs> shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Let me get a drink of water right here. <sighs> All right, next scripture, right? Because we're going to, I'm going to let you know what that water is, right? This is John 7, 38. He that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, of living water. So let's see what that living water is. Wisdom of Solomon 15, verse 3. For to know thee is in, in per, perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root uh if immortality all right is that the scripture i needed uh hold on a second bear with me oh uh, that was the wrong scripture so lock yeah all right but that was a good scripture too wisdom of solomon but this is the one i won right here ecclesiasticus so rock 15 verse 3 with the bread of understanding shall she feed him then you help him your shot and revelation said that he's going to sup with you sup with thee Right? When he's up with you, you gain knowledge and understanding, right? Of this word right here. Right? That's that sinew and that meat going back on your bones, man. Right? And give him the water of wisdom to drink. Right? And give him water of wisdom to drink. That's what it's talking about here in John 4, uh, 414 and John 738. John 738. Again, he that believe on me, the scripture has said, out of his belly, right? His mind shall flow rivers of living water. So the living water, right? The living water, Sirach 15 verse 3, with the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. There we go. Right? All right. First Thessalonians 1, 2 through 3, right? We always thank Yahweh for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. We remember before our power and father, you work produced by faith, your labor promoted by love. That's right. Because we love who? Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. That's why we out. That's why we go out there. Because the love, not the love of money, but the love of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. And your endurance inspired by hope in our Savior, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. Right, and your endurance inspired by hope in our power, your help Hashem, your shot. Right, so let's go to First Timothy, First Timothy five seventeen. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. That's right, uh, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, uh, Apostle Aramla, Apostle Rakar. And the elders that's underneath, man, they labored, man. Apostle Taha got between, what, 35 to 40 years, right? The apostles been out there for decades, man, pushing this truth, man. Pushing this truth. So it was a, a great example to us, right? And even when they sick, they out there, man. When it's cold, they out there. You know, when it's raining, they out there, man. In season and out of season. What happened to that uh, Dairy Queen dude? What happened to that dude of uh, 14 Israelites uh, camp? Where they at? We're going to see them nowhere, man. The 14 Israelites camps disappeared. We was watching them when we first came in the truth. Where are they? What, uh, what about uh, Baloo? 
right? Baloo, when he when he made a mockery about the about the MOTB, said this is the uh, this the, this is the potato chip right here. Y'all remember that? Where he at? Punk ass nigga. But anyway, um, all right, Ecclesiasticus twenty four thirty four. Behold, that I have not labor for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. So this is a great example of, uh, of the apostles. They labor, they dissect the doctrine, right? They they got the understanding of these dark perils. You know, they went they went in deep, man. All right. So that's how we was able to get the breakdown of Genesis, uh, Revelation, and, and these uh, and these dark saying right through them because they labored, man. They labored. Right? They said, Behold, that I have not labored for myself only. That's right but for all them that seek wisdom. You understand? And the and apostles got great love for us, man. Right? Going out there in the highways and byways faithfully, doing sit-down videos. That's love right there, man. That's love. You know? You know all, yeah, dropped, all the ones that dropped out on the wayside, y'all couldn't, couldn't take the apostles' heart rebuke. So y'all fell, fell off like bitches. Y'all fell off like little bitches, man. All right, but anyway, this is First Corinthians fifteen. This is my last scripture right here, fifteen fifty eight. It said, "Of uh, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of your house." Right, always abounding in the work of your house, Shem Yahushai. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hey man, your labor is not in vain, man. Right, the Most High got got your time sheet. He got everything, man. He he, he know what you're doing. Right, everything is uh, recorded. All right, so your your labor's not gonna be in vain, man. All right. So stand firm, my brothers. That's the name of the video. Stand firm, my brothers. All right. Once again, First Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of your Habashim Yasha, because you know that your labor. And the Lord is not in vain, man. Yeah, I hope this video was edifying, Akim. You know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna see you on the on the next video. So we give all praises to Yahweh Shem Yah Shai, man. All right, Rob a hop to Mott, to all my brothers and sisters that's practicing righteousness, man. Much love. All right, Shalom. <clears throat> all right, let me uh, close out. <clears throat>